General Physics 2 is brought to you by Physics Classroom. As a continuation of our exploration from static electricity about electric charge at rest, let's now take the concept of electric current. In this learning segment, we shall deal with electric charge, which is now in motion. Electric current is a continuous flow of charge. Current is most precisely defined as the rate at which charge passes a given cross-sectional area. The amount of electric charge passing through a given cross-section is proportional to the number of electrons that passes through it each second. Current can be defined mathematically as in the equation form written below. I is equal to Q over T, where I is the electric current in ampere, Q is the electric charge in column, T is the time in second. The higher the current is, the more charge passes the cross-section each second. The unit for current is ampere, which is sometimes called amp for short. One ampere is equal to one column per second. Current is measured by a device called ammeter. There are two different types of current, direct current, DC, and alternating current, AC. The difference between the two is just what their names suggest. In direct current, charges move in only one direction. In alternating current, the motion of charges is continuously in the forward and reverse direction. Here in this diagram, shows how the electric current is moving, as direct current, and likewise, as alternating current. In figure A, we can observe how the current moves as direct current. In figure B, we can observe how the current moves as alternating current. Notice that in figure A, the direction of direct current does not change, while in figure B, the direction of alternating current continually changes. Study this sample problem number one. Calculate a charge that passes a cross section in a circuit in 30 seconds when the current is 0.5 ampere. Given the time t equals 30 seconds and the current i equals 0.5 ampere. Find Q formula. If i equals Q over t, then Q equals i times t. And for the solution, Q equals 0.5 ampere times 30 seconds, thus the magnitude of charge Q equals 15 column. Sample problem number two. Calculate the current that would transfer in five seconds, the same amount of charge as a current on 0.5 ampere in 60 seconds. Given I sub one equals 0.5 ampere, T sub one equals five seconds, and T sub two equals 60 seconds. Find Q and I sub two. Formula. First, use Q equals I sub one times T sub two, then use I sub two equals Q over T sub one. And for the solution, to find Q, it is equal to 0.5 ampere, times 60 seconds, thus the magnitude of charge Q equals 30 column. To solve for I sub 2, it is equal to 30 column divided by 5 seconds, the amount of current, I sub 2 equals 6 column per second or 6 amperes. Now that you get acquainted with the concept of electric current, solve the following problems, this will serve as your performance task. Number 1. What is the amount of current that would transfer in 15 seconds, the same amount of charge as a current on 2.0 ampere in 30 seconds? Number 2. In how many seconds would a 5.5 ampere electric current flow in a conductor if the magnitude of charge is 9 million nano column? Number 3. How fast does a charge of 0.6 microcolumn travel, if the current flowing through a cross-section is 0.5 ampere? Number 4. If it takes 2.5 minutes for a 6 ampere current to flow in a circuit, determine how much charge is passing through the circuit. Number 5. Calculate the magnitude of current, that is passing a cross-section in a circuit, in 45 seconds, when the charge is 5000 microcolumn. Thank you once again dear students, for continuously coping up with the lessons, and for your response efforts, in providing the expected deliverables.